Well, as the sign says, welcome to the show. Just to show you that everything is bigger and considerably more mad in America, this is the press room. Not the exhibit hall, just for us lazy journalists to sit and have a drink, gather our thoughts and decide how on earth we're going to cover all the different parts of this unbelievably massive show. Stay with me, I'll tell you how I get on. So we're here now on the air guns of Arizona stand, one of the biggest air gun specialists inside the US, for the launch of the brand new Daystate Wolverine. This is something that we've seen prototypes of before. This is it, this is the, pretty much the final thing. Uh, we've got our pal Chris hanging on to it. Apart from being a new model, which is exciting enough, this is going to be offered in 303 caliber, nice British reference, and it's going to be extraordinarily powerful, well over 100 foot pounds with a 47 grain pellet. Not a bullet, but a pellet. Um, this is going to be a whole different ball game for air guns, um, something they're very excited about. If you actually get a look at the, the magazine when Chris gets it out, just get a look at the I would like serial number one. The hole in that. That is a big pellet. We're looking at 25 shots. You'll notice that the air reservoir, although it's not a buddy bottle, is very fat. That's where they're getting a lot of the volume from. Fully shrouded so that it's available to the Americans who are not allowed to have accessory silencers. Stock's ambidextrous and they've made a neat little trick that the, uh, the bolts can be removed and flipped. Yeah externally so a very simple thing to do making it a fully ambidextrous gun and there's an adjustable butt pad on there to keep terry happy and some nice stippling work on there very very excited to get this you will be the first to know when we get our hands on one the new day state wolverine what a beast this is an interesting thing we've just seen on the crossman stand um, for those of you who prefer to use a pump rather than a bottle, Crossman have got a very, very new take on that subject. As you can see, it's got twin cylinders. And actually, one of them is just to receive the air and pass it through the filter as a kind of a first stage. And then the second one actually puts the pressure into it through the hose, as you can see. Where the interesting part comes is this linkage that's used to provide a mechanical advantage and reduce the pressure you need to apply to the handle on each stroke and it's something like half the effort of their previous pump very interesting very different uh, we're trying to find out if it's coming into the uk when and if so how much um, something new from las vegas so the guys at Gunpower have got a few new things coming along, uh, one of which Jeff is going to tell us all about. Right, we've now got a, a new upplay system for the Stealth, Shadow, Storm and the Triple S. Fastens on the end, instead of being stuck, it's now quite adjustable. It gives us the opportunity to alter it either you can have the upplay higher or you can drop it lower if you want the gun higher in the shoulder. And it also gives you the opportunity to actually lengthen the, amount, the length of pull on the rifle. So you can move this further backwards if, if it's too short, or you can move it flush up to the back to give you a shorter length of pull. We've got other things coming out later on this year, and progressively, we'll, uh, as we put them on the rifles, we'll let everyone know what they are. And hopefully, uh, before the end of the year, we'll have a Mark III. Okay, well, thank you for that. So we'll uh, look out for a few more things coming along very soon. Here we are with Diana. We've been uh, waiting a while now for the P1000, which they showed us some time ago as a prototype. But what we have here 
is the finished article. This is how it will appear in the shops near you. Um, choice of a sporter stock or the thumb hole. They like the Bavarian cheek pieces, this sort of hogsback cheek piece. Um, what we can also see, having two models side by side, this one has the single shot adapter in place. But you also get a rotary magazine in the price. So if you're an HFT competitor, you haven't got to go and buy a single shot adapter for it. Uh, also for the British market, it's now going to have an optional silencer, which I'm sure is going to be a very, very welcome choice. There's been a little while coming, but better to wait and get it right. They were telling us that they didn't want to release it too soon until they're absolutely happy with it. Um, in production now, it should be getting shipped, we hope in February, so it'll be in the shop soon after. Looking forward to this one. In the British Pavilion, we've come across a new company, ASD Target, something which is a bit of a challenge to the conventional metal knockdown. Alan's going to give us a little rundown on how this new product works. We've got a self-loading, self-powered mechanism. When you wind it, push the brake on. Load the cartridge, line the arrows up, push the cartridge in, rotate it to lock it. Release the brake, loads the first target in the head. Shoot the target, it will shatter, automatically load the target in the second slot. You shoot that and it loads the target in the top slot. You can keep going, in each cartridge you get 20 shots. So you have 20 hits before you need to reload the mechanism. We have a, an air rifle version and a rimfire version. And these are the little chalk discs down here. Completely new, hopefully we're going to be seeing in the UK very soon. Let's take on the old knockdown boys and see how we get on. So next time you need to go out hunting oh, sorry. and you're thinking what kind of vehicle would suit me, maybe you need one of these. Maybe you need the biggest pickup truck on planet Earth, camouflaged even down to the wheel rims, how about that, dipped rims, absolutely huge, only in Las Vegas. Here we are on the Bushnell stand, uh, we're looking at the backtrack gadgets that Bushnell have had out for a while. Uh, they've got a new model out, which our pal Stuart is going to tell us all about. Hi and welcome to the Bushnell booth. Uh, what we now have is the new Bushnell Hunt Track. So launching in May time this year. Um, and if we can move the camera over to the screen, I can give you a quick demonstration of the unit. Power's on on the side here. Comes up with a blue LED screen as we had before, and everything's obviously backlit blue. Running through here, obviously the usual thing, location, distance, and the compass point to show you where to go. Time, GPS signal at the top there. What we'll do very quickly, this unit now has moon phase for you, so you can tell what the moon phase will be doing when you're out shooting. Temperature, humidity, as you can see on the screen. It goes blue for backlit and grey for daytime use. Animal activity is now linking to sort of deer. For America at the moment, we're looking at trying to change that slightly one that looks in the UK. Again, distance travelled, time taken, and the memory to show you how much space you've got on the, the unit before you have to upload it to your computer at home. 25 waypoints now, or locations we call them, are now available on the hunt track. Starting point, end point on here. If, for example, at this point here we've been shooting rabbits and put them by a tree, you can actually mark that now as a separate location and come back to that at a later point if you hit the end point of your trail. You may, of course, have found something else on the trail that you want to mark as a separate waypoint. That could be number waypoint or location number four, five, six, up to 25. Standard compass, giving you compass bearing and your longitude and latitude north and east so you can actually find yourself on any orientation map. Again, compass strengthens there for you, temperature. Back to the main compass, standard locations you remember from the detour, car, house, tree, a shooting a hunting point, where you may have had a kill or notice a specific animal. And then you have the other locations we spent about, location one, two, three, 
and they're all showing different distances for you and where the arrow points is where you're going to walk to. Great piece of kit, launches in May and uh, we look forward to seeing the review when it's launched with Air Gun, Air Gun World. How about Phil, we now take a walk elsewhere and I'll show you some other products. We've walked over this way and I wanted to show you the new range of Legend scopes. You know we bring the 515x40 to you guys. There's a whole new family now just about to be launched uh, called the Legend HD Rifle Scopes. Great range. If we just pan down here with the camera you can see the entire family running across the whole sort of range of uh, Parax, Paras, etc. But there's one scope that I really want to bring to everybody's attention. It's the new Legend 329x40. 3940 with sidewall parallax. Should be great when it gets reviewed by Phil, hopefully in uh, about a month's time with Air Gunner, Air Gun World. Moving away slightly from the rifle scope for a second, we come to the binoculars, uh, a very popular range for all Air Gunner, Air Gun people uh, in the market at the moment is the H2 Faro family fully waterproof you can dunk them in water to continue to use them slightly remodeled though now uh, we have the roof prism here it's got a, a slightly softer grip slightly new design slightly smaller in, in size uh, but still packs the same deliverance in optical quality great new range uh, will be available in May time and we've actually done the same on the Poro prism design as well changed the uh, rubber armory made it slightly smoother uh, easy grip but still keeping the same quality same price Great to sort of uh, see this reviewed uh, in a couple of months time, Phil. Moving on from binoculars, we come to what Bushnell really know and are market leaders for is the trail cams. Um, if we just have a look at the screen here, it's one of the new touchscreen systems here. Hopefully I can press the right buttons at the right time. The, the range will be changing uh, throughout 2012, incorporating some significant changes. Um, entry level, the, the X8, you can see here, all the key features, we keep it at a 5 to 8 megapixel, 36 IRs, PIRs, 9 months battery life, up to 32 gigabyte SD card. Nice and simple, entry level it's going to become. If I take it back again, we keep the 36 and the 46 models, which are the standard 5 and 8 megapixels. We bring in the new HD version. If I click on here, 3, 5, 8 megapixels, exactly what we have. PIR sensors, 32 hyper night vision. So when you're using night vision now, it becomes even clearer. If I just show you hyper night vision here, this is what we mean by hyper night vision. This is a standard version, and then if we move it across, Phil, you can now see what we mean by hyper. Sharpens image up for you. Going back to it again, we also have a geotag. Geotag is a new facility where you actually can put on the system, if you locate it, where you've actually taken the shot from, upload it and it will show you on the map exactly where the cam or the trail cam was placed and where the photograph was taken. You can then share that with your friends and social networking as well. The new feature that comes out the new models, which we think will be absolutely fantastic if you're out in this field shooting, targeting. Moving on to the next one, widescreen, as you can see, the two different versions. 16.9 and 4.3. Listen to what people are saying out there so that we can actually ensure that you, the users, actually get full functionality from your back. Very finally, we have also multi flash mode. People were saying about the flash going off. As you can see here, it will actually darken the unit down for you so it will actually sense how far the unit away is from the unit so it can actually sort of give you various levels of flash as it goes off. Conserves the battery life at the same time. And then finally, we have the two time field scan. Two time field scan is the new functionality on the new models. You've heard of field scan before, we've had it out there already. But what this actually allows you to do is actually record two separate field times plus activity as you're going through. So that means that if you had a, a hunt area or a poaching area, you could actually set the camera to operate between dawn and dusk and then during the night as well. So dawn and dusk, it could be every two minutes. At night time, it could be every five minutes taking photo rough. And if there was activity, to trigger the unit at the same time. So there's two multiple timings. So that adds more functionality and more user friendliness to it. Finally, as you can see the images um, on the screen, and we just play around moving it around for you, just to show you the, uh, the multi technology. And then there's a quick sort of video here for you, just to play that.
just shows you the fact that animals are still not frightened by the black LED versions, no interaction. Look at that. Great new products will get launched throughout 2012. No extra specific launch dates, but again, watch out for the reviews that will occur in Airgun and Airgun World. Moving on from the binoculars, we have the new Terrific Cam series that's been launched 2012. No launch dates yet, but builds upon the success and the market leadership that Bushnell has in the Trophy Cam series. These are the new families, eight in total, entry level X8, basically very simple, taking all current features that we have on the Trophy Cams. I want to show you a couple of key features on the new units. If I press on the HD version, we keep the HD screen. The first one is Geotag GPS. Great using the CI screen here for your field so you can have a look. Shows you the location of when the picture was taken, which means you can share it with your social networking friends, store it on your systems at home so you know where the camera's been placed and where the photograph's been taken. Another functionality very quickly, full scan two times. We've had full scan before. What full scan does this time now, two times, it gives you the option day and night. So you can daytime take a photograph every five minutes, nighttime every 10 minutes, even if there's no activation. And on top of that, if something should break the beam, then or set up the PIR, then it will then take a photograph for you. Moving back, finally, one last key feature is the uh, multi-flash mode. We've actually been able to sort of change the functionality of the flash so that you actually get better depth of field and less what we call whiting out of the photograph. I think that's quite key for any sort of wildlife or even hunting use in the future. So three great functions there, there are many more. Watch out for the review when it happens in Airgun Airgun World because there'll be a list as long as my arm that I can go through. Time doesn't allow, but they're the key ones. Launch this space.